This is a quick demonstration of how to synchronize a SharePoint and or a uh, Teams files set to your local machine. The first thing you want to do is go into one of the uh, channels. The general channel is fine. Go to the Files tab. Once you do that, click on Open in SharePoint. Now this will open up the SharePoint directory for that channel. And you'll see up here in the breadcrumb that we're actually not in the root folder. Really important step here is to click on this root folder first. If you if you do the synchronization from this level, it won't carry forward any new channels that are created down to your machine. It'll just keep synchronizing this general folder and subfolders of that general channel. So you want to always go back to the root folder here where you'll see the different uh, channels. Once you're to the documents and there's no other links in your breadcrumb, go ahead and just click on the sync and allow it to open up the OneDrive app, which is what SharePoint uses to synchronize. And now you'll see a little notification or a toast pop up and say that you're uh, now synchronizing that folder. Once you do that, if you go into your uh, file explorer and you switch to this uh, tab over here for your organization, notice there's a little building structure. Don't get this confused with your personal business OneDrive. Um, that may be an oxymoron, but there is a personal, personal OneDrive as well. <clears throat> um, we want to go to the one with the buildings, and this is your SharePoint document libraries. And by default, if you haven't changed the setting, OneDrive will actually do what's called a files on demand sync. And these files, uh, as you can see here with the cloud, they're only in the cloud, but you can easily access them from any uh, program. Um, once you go, once you do that, you can copy, paste, delete, drag, move files around inside of here, just like you would if it was in a uh, local folder structure. Um, if you need to create a new channel, of course, once you create that new channel, it'll show up here automatically because we synchronized that root level. If you need to disconnect one of these for some reason and no longer synchronize it to your machine, what you'll want to do is come down to the OneDrive icon, go to More Settings, and then under this uh, Account tab, you'll see a list of all the locations you're syncing. This first one here is my personal corporate OneDrive, and then this one underneath is the um, team site or SharePoint site document library that uh, I just synchronized down. And of course you can hit stop sync. Um, if you do that, it actually will not delete the files from your hard drive. It will just disconnect it from the synchronization engine. Um, and if you want to remove those files from your uh, actual hard drive, you'd want to go in and delete them, but you'd want to make sure you did this first because if you deleted the folders here first before you deleted it, uh, remove the synchronization, it would try to delete them up on the folder for everybody and everyone would lose those files and that would be a, a restore problem. Um, anyway, that's it. Any questions, let me know.